Hey there, everybody. It's your old pal, Guardian Enzo, coming to you live on tape, not from Hollywood, but from Kobe, Japan, and coming to you with another anime from the vault. And this time it's a series that's uh, very, very, very special to me, and that's uh, FLCL, uh, often spoken in English as Fooly Cooly or Furry Curry. It's a series with many names, an OVA series from... Uh, the folks at Gynax with production assistance from Production IG. And uh, this is a series I thought long and hard about how I wanted to do uh, from the vault about, uh, about Fooly Cooly because it's such a, it, 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 all the series I've ever watched, all the series I've ever loved, this is among the most important to me. I mean, I think it's fair to say uh, it's it, I would not be an anime fan in the manner I am today if it weren't for this series. And there's very, very few series I can say that about. Uh, and a couple of them are Gynax series, too, which is why I have a great kind of direct uh, connection to Gynax. And uh, that's a topic I'll probably do uh, do a YouTube video on at some point is just my general feelings about Gynax and their checkered history. But for sure, Fooly Cooly is uh, a tremendously, tremendously important series to me. And I think it's a great series, too, for that matter. A series from when uh, when OVAs were OVAs. They really were original video animation. They weren't extensions of TV series and special episodes. They were almost entirely original material. Uh, and this is one of the most original pieces of material anime has ever produced. And I, I just felt like I could do a 25, 30 minute video on this and I wouldn't be able to do it justice if I try to do it systematically. So in the end, I just decided to kind of stream of consciousness it uh, do a short, just do a short take on why it means so much to me. Uh, as I said, it, it's a series that uh, I originally saw it in English, possibly on even Cartoon Network, although I couldn't tell you for sure whether it was on Adult Swim that I saw it first. I'm pretty sure it was, but it could have even been on VHS. But eventually, and I think it had a very good English dub, by the way, I have to say, I will give credit to, uh, I will give credit to the dub because I'm not normally... Uh, a big fan of dubs, but I think they did a great job with it. However, the original uh, in Japanese is better, uh, certainly. Um, nevertheless, a great series. And where do you start with 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 FLCL? I mean, first of all, I did a, a piece on uh, on the blog about this several years ago, which I can link to in the in the uh, in the description below. But I think it's the coolest series ever made. I, in my opinion, there's no question about that. Uh, at least for me, it is. I mean, you, your, your mileage may vary, as they say. Um, I also think, without any question to me, it has my my favorite soundtrack of any series, and that's by The Pillows. And I became a huge fan of The Pillows from this series and ended up, you know, seeing The Pillows live in concert a few times. And they're just, a, I think, just a tremendous J-Rock band, probably my favorite J-Rock band of all time. Uh, tremendously cool soundtrack, relentlessly inventive, uh, visually. I think it's easy to see why, uh, Fooly Cooly is one of the most influential series in anime history. In my opinion, I think you see echoes of it in many, many series, which followed, including Gynax series, but then going all the way through to something like, I mean, particularly Kyoso Giga comes to mind for me as a wonderful, wonderful series. Uh, which I think personally is heavily influenced by, uh, heavily influenced by Fully Cooley. In fact, I think I would say uh, Matsumoto Rie, the wonderful director of Kyoso Giga, among other series, is herself quite heavily influenced by Fully Cooley, as I think many anime creators of her generation are. Um, in terms of, you know, the production team behind this, it was, uh, you know, Tsurumaki Kazuya is the guy who uh, basically created the series. I mean, I had the the good fortune to uh, interview him at Anime Expo a few years ago. And he and uh, he and uh, Shintani Mayumi, the who's mainly a stage actress, but who was uh, recruited to play Haruko uh, in this series. Thank goodness, because she was wonderful. I had a, a chance to interview the two of them. And uh, he, he confirmed really a lot of what I think most of us already knew, which is that uh, Fooly Cooly is in, 
is is his story. It's as personal as it could be. Uh, Nauta, the the lead, the 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 protagonist, a twelve year old boy. He is Kazuya Suramaki when he was twelve years old. He said right down even to the way he dressed and uh, his insecurity about baseball, everything else. It was all it's all him. And in fact, even the uh, even the yellow Vespa, which Haruko uh, drives in the series, rides in the series, is based on a Vespa that. Uh, Zuramaki sensei had at the time they were they were doing pre-production and couldn't get it to run kept trying to get it to run uh and he wrote it into the series for that reason so you can't get more personal than this series is for Suramaki. uh and, and i think that really shows i think that personal touch is something that cannot be faked and it certainly isn't the only way to make great anime but it's one of the most reliable ways to make great anime uh, and, uh, Suramaki is one of the original Gainax lions. He was one of the assistant directors and animation directors on Evangelion, of course, uh, Ano Hideaki, who played the, who did the voice of the cat, by the way, in Furikuri. Uh, he, he was, he was, he was the head honcho on Evangelion, but a lot of the people who worked with him then went on and worked on developed other projects. And you had, you had the whole different strains of the Gainax timeline go through with Suramaki and then leading through all the way to, uh, you know, to Trigger and and uh, and Ano's own studio, which he developed to to, to uh, Studio Kara, which he developed specifically to produce Evangelion after everything went south with Gainax. So yeah, it, it there's a there's definitely a family tree here. Surumaki is an important part of it. Uh, other important people on this show are Enokido Yoji, who was one of the writers, Takagi Shinji, who was one of the directors. But really, it was Surumaki's baby. Um. You had some wonderful inventive visual stuff here, such as the uh, the um, the animated manga panel sequence, which was incredibly creative at the time, and I'd never seen anything like it. Uh, it's there's a tremendous tremendous depth of intellectual depth to this series, which really is it, it deals with. I think the whole I've always felt that the whole premise of uh, FLCL is uh, it's it's puberty that's what it is the whole the whole series is really a riff on that and that's a very powerful topic in any person's life and I think Suramaki just basically riffed on that in a sort of freeform way for six episodes and and FLCL was a result um, with Gainax and IG teaming up on this the visuals are phenomenal I think it still looks great even you know 20 years after it was produced and literally 20 years it was released on April of 2000, I think it still looks great in 2021 in the way many great anime series look as good or better as modern series, even 15, 20 years after they were produced. Soundtrack, as I said, off the charts, great, absolutely phenomenal. Um, characters, I mean, Naota is a great lead. I mean, he's the most appealing, uh, the most appealing of his class, character class, I would say, the most appealing protagonist in his character class that I know of in anime. Uh, Haruko is just a, she's just a force of nature. She's, she's a completely unique character. Uh, she brings so much to this, to this series in, in so many ways. I, I think it's, it's impossible to overstate. Uh, I think, you know, Shintani was a, was an inspired choice for her. Uh, but I also think that uh, Mizuki Jun, who plays Naota, does an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, and it's not a series that's packed with, Big Seiyu names, really. Ironically, the biggest Seiyu name here is Anohide Hake, who plays Miu Miu, the cat. But it's still an incredible, an, an incredible cast. Um, we have also uh, Mamimi, uh, Samajima Mamimi, who is the sort of the older girl who had a thing for Naoto's older brother, and he's a he's a factor in this kind of a dark matter sort of way. He's not there, but he's important. There's Amarao, who's uh, who's an adult character, of course, Conti, the robot, who uh, made cameos in other uh, Gainax series later on. Uh, so really, it's just wonderful in every in every sense of the word. It it packs so much visually, so much intellectually, and it's hilariously funny. The music is off the charts. It's quite moving at times too, including the ending. I would say. Uh, two other kind of final wrap up thoughts for me on Fully Cooly. Um, one. Uh, yes, there were two sequels that were produced a few years ago by Production ID in conjunction with Cartoon Network. Um, if you love those, they're that's God bless. They're great. Uh, you have every right to. I like to pretend they don't exist because 
They never needed to exist in the first place. They have nothing to do with Suramaki. Uh, they took something that was his story and they made something completely unrelated to it with a completely unrelated staff. And to me, they're, they're a disaster. But as I said, if you love them, great, you know, um, more power to you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress over that. Uh, for me, Fully Cooly is Fully Cooly. Whatever came after that is, is not Fully Cooly with one exception, which is the manga, which was created by a magaka named Ueda Hajime. And it's only two volumes, but it's only a six episode OVA. So that fits. And I think the manga is well worth your time if you're a fan of the anime because the manga changes quite a bit from the anime and it takes the story in some interesting directions and it's visually quite different from the anime too as it would have to be. Uh, and it's quite good. It, it's not it's not a manga uh, panel by panel transcription of the anime, which I don't think would have worked. They, they took something wildly creative and original and then they took it in a new direction uh, Hajime Ueda did in the manga, which I think totally works. And there's some good stuff in that manga, including one of my favorite uh, manga quotes of all time, which is, um, uh, to be a boy is to be a fool and to be a fool is pure bliss. And uh, I've always felt there was sort of a deep truth to that. And I think that that really captures something of the heart of uh, Fuli Kuli in, 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 a, in a strangely profound way. So Read the manga by all means if you have seen the anime. Um, I think it's well worth your time. But if you haven't seen it, uh, you know, you may love it, you may not love it, but if you consider yourself a serious anime fan, I think there are certain tentpole anime down through the decades that you kind of have to, you have to put that arrow in your quiver and say, yeah, I have that. I, I've, I have an opinion on that. I've seen it. I've thought about it. I think Fully Cooly is one of those types of anime. I really think it's something everyone should see. Not everyone will love it, but everyone should see it. And I think once you do see it, you're going to realize, uh, if nothing else, you will see, if you're not aware of it already, how much uh, Fully Cooly has influenced anime in the last 20 years. It has been tremendously influential on a lot of directors, a lot of animation directors, a lot of writers. Uh, and it's unmistakable once you've seen it, if you've been watching anime, you know, consistently religiously for, for the last decade or two decades, you're going to see echoes of Fuli Cooley in it once you've seen Fuli Cooley. So please see it. It's absolutely a beloved series to me on a very personal way, uh, and a very important series to me, but not only that, I think as far as objective as I can be, I think it's also one of the greatest anime ever made. And, uh, that's FLCL, Furry Curry, Fuli Cooley. Uh, 2000 production IG and uh, production IG and Gynax. And I hope you'll see it. And uh, as always, thank you very much for tuning in. And you don't need me to tell you, but if you, uh, if you like what you've seen, of course, please uh, subscribe and please like, and I look forward to seeing your comments as, as well. Thanks very much. Stay frosty.